Garrett Ginsburg, Class Act Sports. What a great run for the Ohio State Buckeyes. They are cutting the nets and going to New Orleans. They squeaked it out over Syracuse. This team is resilient, tournament tested. They came up a little short last year. We saw them in Newark. And I told Sollinger that would be a good chance to have be back with a position to get to the Final Four. And lo and behold, Kid is the MVP of the series. And he's cutting the net right behind us as we speak. Stay tuned for the interviews and post-game locker room at ClassXSports.com. Like cutting the nets, man. Obviously, you got the net. Congratulations. Cutting the nets, going to the Final Four. Talk about that feeling, man. Go, go climbing up that ladder. It, it's, it's a great feeling. It, it's, I, I love it. I mean, this is everybody's dream. You know, I, like I, I, at the end of the game, I wanted to cry, but you know, I held it in. That's that's <laughs> how emotional it is because everybody wants this. You know, everybody wants to succeed in life. And playing this sport, it helps me, you know, clear my mind and everything. And now going to the NCAA Final Four, it's something special. Obviously work's not done. I'm sure you have a long way to go. You know that, I know that. Uh, what do you plan on doing with that net, by the way? I'm planning on just, I might sleep with it tonight. You never know. I'm I'm, I'm gonna hang it up, you know, like the rest of my high school nets and the Big Ten Championship last year. So I'm gonna hang them up with all the rest of the nets. Congratulations from Class Act Sports, man. Thank you, sir. I'm surprised you guys didn't hear me out there on the court. I was screaming, but you know. I was a little bit, just a little bit. Lenza, you played out of your mind, man. Out of your mind, one of the games of your life. We talked about that the other day. You know, touch on this. You actually showed up, you did what you wanted, and you helped your team get to the Final Four. Uh, that's what it's about, you know. Uh, doing, doing My role is to do whatever it takes to, to make this team win. And, uh, you know, more and more I'm starting to see uh, things that we need. And, uh, you know, sometimes guys fall down. And, and as a teammate, a good teammate, you have to pick them up. Well, you know, uh, just, just having, you know, Deshaun and Jared, as our offensive threats and will and will, you know what I'm saying, guys are gonna focus in on them when that's when it's you know, me and Aaron's turn to, you know, kinda get in there and add our points and you know, to 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 be a good team and you know, compete at this level, all all five out there on the floor has to be a threat. And that's what I wanted to make sure, you know, I, I'm pretty sure you know, in the beginning of the season, you know, nobody, you know, might have even skipped me on their scouting report, but they can't do that right now. No doubt about it, man. You obviously came to play. Congratulations from Class X Sports. And just talk about cutting the nets, man. What was that like for you? Man, I've cut nets before, I, I, but nothing, it's never felt like this. You know, uh, I, I can't even, words can't even describe this moment or how I'm feeling right now. Um, I'm just blessed, man. Came to your life. Way to be, kid. Thank you. Uh, this basketball team, between everything y'all said about us, uh, how this basketball team wasn't good enough, how we wasn't physically gifted enough, mentally tough enough, immature, uh, and this basketball team um, pushed through that adversity. I want to thank y'all. Y'all y'all helped this basketball team out tremendously. What changed? You couldn't win this game without everybody. I mean, with all the stuff that you know, Jordan did, LaQuentin did, Amir, Trey McDonald, J.D. Weatherspoon, Shannon Scott, Lenzel Smith, uh, Sam Thompson, uh, Evan Ravenel. With all them, them guys, what they do for 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 the starting five. And not only for the star fight for this basketball team is, is tremendous, and, and they don't get a lot of publicity. But them guys back there, if, if we didn't, if we didn't practice against those guys this whole this whole time during practice, we wouldn't be here. Them guys come in every day, regardless of playing or not. They they push through through practice. They compete against us. They they try to set a statement towards towards the star five, and uh, they they kind of try to elevate. They elevate our game as well. And, and it's back, those, those guys, you know, even though you're not interviewing, in, interviewing them, to me, those guys are MVP of this basketball game. You would not be denied tonight, today, man. Uh, one year ago, we spoke about you coming back to this point, so congratulations to Class Act Sports. But talk about what's on your mind as you go to New Orleans and trying to win this whole thing. It's not a vacation. It's a business trip. We got to take this as a business trip and, and do it professionally and, and handle our business professionally, handle y'all professionally. but. Uh, at the end of the day, we, we're, we're down there to win two games, and it starts with the first one. You came back for this, to cut the nets and have this net on your head. You know, talk about what this feeling is like and how gratifying it is to basically say that you made the right decision. I'm um, very, very speechless right now, but uh, I made the right decision as soon as I said, said I was coming back. Uh, without a doubt, I knew that, that it was a chance for me to work on my, my game. And, elevate my game and, and, and win. You know, that's the biggest thing. I, I, 
I, I don't like losing, and winning is, is the big big key for me, for me. And I think uh, this basketball team is is very is working very hard and in, in, in helping me and helping this basketball team win. You know, you got to give Rav and, and Amir a lot of credit. Um, they never know if they're going to go in, uh, but when they do get their number called, they come in and, and they do what they're supposed to. And, and tonight they did that, and it helped our team tremendously. Aaron, an emotional low last year, but now obviously an emotional high this year. Congratulations, cutting the nets. You know, talk about what that was like for you. Bro. I mean, it's awesome. I haven't got to cut down a net in, since freshman year in high school, uh, and and that's that's something that that's you know they can't take it away. Um, something that we enjoyed as a team, uh, but but also understanding you know. There's still basketball to be played. Seems like the crowd's always giving you a hard time specifically. Talk about how that motivates you and you feed off that energy. Yeah, I don't hear it too much, but it was like kind of playing an away game tonight. Um, I mean, Syracuse traveled really well. Uh, but, you know, I just, just try to ignore it as much as possible. Um, not let it get in my head too much and, and just enjoy the game. Congratulations, bro. Yep, thank you. Congratulations from Class X Sports. Had a chance to bump into you on the court, man. What was it like for you? You know, first half, you came up with some big minutes when Sully went down you know, with injury, with foul trouble. Talk about that. Uh, just coaches is always telling me to be ready at any given moment at a time. And today was one of those moments where Jared got two fouls, Evan got two fouls, and I was ready to step up right away, and that's what I did. What a surreal moment, though, to happen in Elite Eight to go to the Final Four and basically uh, ask to step up in the biggest time of your career. Uh, this is one of the greatest moments. I mean, just being able to to have a chance to play for the Final Four is one of the uh, biggest achievements I ever had in my basketball career, and I'd just like to continue that as we go and uh, get ready to play in the Final Four. Congratulations from Class X Sports. Thank you. Coach Greg Paulus, congratulations from Class X Sports. In the Final Four again, man, for you. Talk about what this feeling is like for you on the other side of things from the coaching perspective. Uh, it's, it's exciting. Uh, the guys did a great job. It's uh, a great accomplishment for the team and for the program, and uh, just really excited for the guys. They, they did a great job of uh, getting stronger in the second half and, and uh, really putting it together. What, what was that X factor that got you guys over the hump. Obviously, Lenzel stepped up. You got some big minutes from the big guys when Solinger went out in the first half. You know, just talk about the whole the game as a whole and your success coming out of it. I think uh, you know playing without Jared in the first half, you know, our bench did a tremendous job of keeping us uh, in the game and at times giving us a lead. Um, they, they did a great job there with their toughness, their energy, keeping make, making plays. And I think in the second half, uh, we did a great job sharing the basketball, being tough on the defensive end, and just stringing a couple stops together with a couple scores. No doubt about it, man. There's something about March Madness and and, uh, and ba college basketball with you, man, you, se you seem to be surrounded by winning teams and also helping contribute to your team's win. What is that? Wh what is it about you that's just a winner? Uh, well, it's, it's just an honor to be a part of the program. Um, anytime you can, um, you know, be a part of this uh, program with this type of prestige, and you get a chance to be a part of Coach Mata's staff, um, you know, it's a, it's an honor and it's humbling. And and to get a chance to do that every single day, uh, it's it's an amazing thing. And I just feel really lucky to be a part of it. Well, once player, now coach, back in the Final Four, Greg Paulus. Congratulations from Class X Sports, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, you. Too. You being one of the senior leaders on this team, you know, talk about what it's like to take some of these younger guys under your wing. No, oh, it's great, man. You know, just to have guys look up to you and, um, you know, just to see how you work and, and, and just to have their support, you know what I'm saying? They, they always got your back. It's just great. And talk about cutting those nets and going to the Final Four. What's that like? Oh, it was just great, man. Um, you know, to, to be cut short my, throughout my whole career, you know, first year in the first round and, and the last two years in the Sweet 16, I had to make it to the Final Four for my last year. is just, you know, just great for us. Now, obviously, your work's not done, uh, but talk about what is going through your mind as you guys are about to go to New Orleans and, and go on your continue your Final Four run. Um, just get some rest. Um, get some rest, come in and practice and go hard. Um, you know, we, we can't get complacent. We just don't want to go to the Final Four. We want to go there and win it all. So, you know, we just got, we just got to go hard. Congratulations from Class X Sports, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you. First half, obviously, uh, Soldier was out with foul trouble, and you and Williams came up big with the uh, with the minutes in the first half. Talk about that. Man. Um, yeah, um, first I want to say, like, Amir Williams, he's progressed so much, and to be able to come in like that and give us minutes like that, I I'm extremely proud of Amir. And then second, like, I just came in and wanted to do my job, and Coach told me, go in there, do your job, do what you do best, and that's play good physical defense, offensive rebounds, put backs, and, and, and lead us. And you were really tough down there, down low, tough for them, hard for them to uh, to deal with. You guys came up a little short last year, but one year later, you guys get over the hump, get to the Final Four. Obviously, your work's not done, but you know, do you think you get back to this point? I mean, at the beginning, at the beginning of the season, when Coach set us all down, obviously the goal was to get to New Orleans. That's our goal we set for ourselves and win a national championship. But it, it didn't happen overnight. It took a lot of 135 practices we into now and. 
coach stresses that to us every day that what we put into it is what we get out of it. And the, for the past month, we were having some really good practices. We, we were training together. I don't can't remember the last time we had a bad practice. Let me see the net on the back of your uh, hat, man. I know you guys all have it. What was that like for you, man, cutting that net and having this with you forever? Oh, it's a good fun. This is something that can't no one take away from me. Can't nobody t uh, tell me that I, I never I never pl played with a, a championship caliber team and cut down the nets in Boston. It's, it's a good feeling. Congratulations from Class Act Sports, man. We'll see you in New Orleans. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. What's this moment like for you right now? You know, it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling, obviously, uh, being one of four teams left uh, playing. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, with, with the way we won the game, with different guys stepping up there in the first half, and Lenzel Smith hit some big shots uh, down the stretch, and having Aaron Kraft foul out the last two minutes, you know, it makes it even sweeter. Do you feel like the way things ended last year against Kentucky kind of helped you here? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I think, you know, more so that there's that bitter taste in your mouth, you know, throughout the summer and the fall. And, you know, kind of gives you something to keep working for. And, you know, hats off to William Buford, you know, uh, came back after that Kentucky game and, uh, you know, had, had a good year this year. And hopefully it's not over. Absolutely. Way to be. Congratulations, Class Act Sports. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Signing out, it was a great run. Class Act Sports bringing you beyond the game, behind the scenes at classactsports.com.